Asthma is a long-term or chronic lung disease that makes it hard for a person to breathe. People who suffer from asthma have extra sensitive air passages that become irritated easily resulting in swelling or spasms, a twitchy feeling. Asthma is most common during childhood and affects at least 12% of Canadian children. In fact, according to the World Health Organization, asthma is now a serious public health problem with over 100 million sufferers worldwide. As the lungs are always overreacting to stimuli, things such as allergens or cold, dry air, eventually the bronchial tubes, or airways, become sensitive and inflamed. If the inflammation isn't treated in time, the patient can suffer an asthma attack. During an attack, the bronchial tubes begin to swell and produce more mucus. This in turn cuts off the flow of air to the lungs. As you can see, there is an obvious difference between the two. Because the airway to the lungs is blocked, oxygen cannot reach the blood to be circulated throughout the body for cellular respiration. There is also a buildup of carbon dioxide as it too cannot leave the body. Without immediate treatment, a person suffering an asthma attack may die. Though each case of asthma is unique to each person, common symptoms include shortness of breath, tightness in the chest, wheezing, or coughing. These symptoms can be mild, moderate, or severe, and they may also vary from one episode to the next. Symptoms may not always be present though and may just flare up from time to time. Researchers are unsure what exactly causes asthma, though they have found that some of the strongest risk factors are exposure to high levels of antigens as a baby, a family history of asthma, and exposure to tobacco smoke or chemical irritants in the workplaces. Currently, there is no preventative measures against asthma, though it is common in families and can be passed down. Though there is no surefire way to prevent asthma, there are ways to prevent asthma attacks. Studies have found that households with pets and or smokers have worsened asthma. To prevent attacks, allergens, chemicals, and cold weather should all be watched out for. There are a few ways doctors can diagnose asthma. They can look into a patient's family history and medical history relating to breathing problems. They may also do a physical exam, checking breathing and nasal passages. This may also include testing their breathing with spirometry. In this test, they get the patient to breathe in a tube leading to a machine that shows how much air can be blown out of the lungs. Another way of diagnosing asthma is by taking a chest x-ray through blood tests or challenge tests which help to tell the doctor how twitchy or hypersensitive the lungs are. There are two main types of asthma treatment, controllers and relievers. Controllers are the long-term medications that work to reduce inflammation in the airways. These are meant to be taken every day. If the patient stops taking them, the symptoms will return. An example of controller would be inhaled steroids. Relievers are used to relieve symptoms, such as coughing or wheezing, though they don't actually do anything to the underlying swelling. An example of a reliever would be an inhaler. There are two types of inhalers aerosol inhalers, or puffers, which use medication suspended in a propellant. When the canister is pushed down, the medication is breathed in. As the name implies, dry powder inhalers contain a dry powder medication that draws into the lungs when the patient breathes in. Did you know that some famous people who had asthma include John F. Kennedy, Beethoven, and Theodore Roosevelt?